6.33 now at KPRC2. This morning, the death toll is now at 9 in the Astro World Festival tragedy. This comes after last night's death of a hospitalized victim and as the family of Brianna Rodriguez plans to lay her to rest. Our Brittany Jeffers starts our team coverage this morning from La Paz Memorial Funeral Home. Brittany. Yes, that funeral service for Brianna Rodriguez is scheduled for tomorrow morning, but ahead of that and taking place today, friends, family members, community members can come here to La Paz a Funeral Home where visitation will take place from 3 until 8 o'clock. Preparing to say goodbye, funeral services will take place tomorrow morning for Brianna Rodriguez. The 16-year-old Heights High School student lost her life Friday at the Astro World Festival, now among the nine being mourned. Yesterday, the family of Barty Shahani announced the 22-year-old had passed away. Now she's gone. That special child is gone because of what happened on November 5th. Family members say the concert was a first for the Texas A&M student. Why did I say no to her? You know why? Because this was the first thing she asked me for herself. I was holding her hand and once that happened, the next time I saw her, she was in the ER unconscious on a ventilator. Barty had been on a ventilator since the crowd surged at the concert on Friday night. The family is now grieving her death and says that she was the backbone of the family, a daughter, sister, cousin, and they filed a lawsuit saying that what happened shouldn't have. A remaining victim at the hospital is nine-year-old Ezra Blunt. He was on his father's shoulders at the concert when the crowd pushed forward, knocking him to the ground, causing him to be trampled. The little boy was put in a medically induced coma and is listed in critical condition. So again, those funeral services for Brianna Rodriguez will take place tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, thank you. Today